Hi, I'm Gary DeSantos with ReachBio. ReachBio Research Labs provides primary cell biology, specialized contract research services, and research tools to the drug development and life science research communities. Specifically for nanostring, we provide nanostring validated control PBMC samples to provide you with confidence in running your N counter Vantage assay. Today, I'll describe key tips and tricks for handling your PBMCs for a successful N counter Vantage assay. It's important that PBMCs are stored properly upon isolation or receipt of cryopreserved aliquots. If PBMCs will be stored for less than seven days prior to using them in an N counter Vantage assay, minus 80 degrees Celsius storage is acceptable. However, Storing PBMCs in the gaseous phase of liquid nitrogen is preferred, especially if you plan on performing functional assays with the sample type. Prior to retrieving the cells from liquid nitrogen, it's important to set up the biological safety cabinet so that you're ready for the thawed cells. To do this, you need a 15 cc tube containing approximately 10 mils of medium. For our assays, we normally use a basal medium such as RPMI containing 10% FBS. Once we remove the cells from the liquid nitrogen, it's important to thaw them rapidly in a 37 degree Celsius water bath. To do this, we take the vial of cells and swirl it consistently inside the warm water until there is just a little bit of an ice cube left in the middle of the vial. Once we get to this point, we proceed to the biological safety cabinet to wash the cells. After thawing, it's important to wash cells quickly to remove a residual DMSO. After washing your cells, they are ready to count. See Nanostring Technologies' next video on cell counting with a hemocytometer.